Hey, this is Daniela. So today I'm going to talk about why it's important to learn another language. As someone who's grown up bilingual, I've always believed in the importance of knowing multiple languages. And as a Spanish teacher, I can acknowledge that sometimes learning a language later in life can be difficult. Plenty of my students wonder why they need to know Spanish at all, and they don't usually see the advantages that they could gain. So without further ado, here's some reasons why learning another language is valuable. First, learning another language allows you to communicate with more people than you would be able to if you only spoke one language. Being able to speak English and Spanish has made it easier for me to communicate with my own family members throughout my life. I've also been able to serve as a translator in certain situations, and I can communicate with the Spanish-speaking students and parents at my school with little trouble. Language is really good for your brain, too. As Tiger Mon pointed out on Tumblr, it requires concentration because of fast switching between two languages. So your brain is used to processing information in your native language, but when you're learning another language, you've got to learn how to convert or switch between the two and communicate easily. People used to believe that a bilingual environment could hurt a child's language development and just confuse them, but we've since learned that isn't true. Uh, Peter Musser wrote a paper about this, and in a study cited by Catherine DeLang, which he mentioned, bilinguals consistently outperformed monolinguals on both verbal and nonverbal texts. Uh, it is true that sometimes bilingual children will start to talk a little bit later than monolingual children, but in the long run, that doesn't really have a long-term effect on them. Another reason why it's important to learn a language. Here we go. Because of how structured language classes can be, students are expo explicitly taught grammar rules that they might not have been taught about their native language. Studying another language can help you better understand your own language. This is purely an anecdote, but a big reason why I have a good understanding of English grammar is because of how much I studied Spanish grammar and then I was able to make those comparisons for myself. You can really immerse yourself in new cultures and traveling to certain countries becomes easier when you study another language. Language is often tied closely to the culture of a place and learning another language allows you to connect with different cultures in ways that maybe you wouldn't have been able to. Along the lines of exploring other cultures, traveling to another country is easier if you can speak the language. I've only been to a few countries where I don't speak the language and I always feel a little bit helpless when I can't communicate in that language. For example, this summer I went to Haiti with a group and my friend Kara could speak Creole so she was able to translate for us, but it always felt a little bit weird not being able to directly speak with the people myself. Uh, knowing another language can make you more competitive when looking for a job. So we all know this is a pretty global world now and a lot of companies frequently interact with people in other countries. So if you can speak another language, you can put that on your resume, that can really help another company out and it definitely makes you look more competitive if you have a skill that somebody else doesn't. Uh, so I think I'll go ahead and end here. I know that I'm lucky because I was able to learn two languages when I was just learning to talk, and I'm so glad that I can speak English and Spanish fluently. I think I have a different perspective uh, because I'm bilingual, and I feel like I can connect with more people and different types of people than maybe I would have if I only spoke one language. Uh, if you have the opportunity to learn another language, I really hope you take it. I know sometimes language classes can cost a lot of money and obviously traveling to other countries can cost a lot of money, but there are a lot of ways to at least begin your language learning for free thanks to the marvels of the internet, um, even if that is just a first step. So I'll put some links down in the description, you know, down in the doobly-doo to help you get started. And that's all for now. I do want to say thanks to Peter Musser and Tiger Mon for, you know, giving some input and I'll see you later. Bye.